trust. And so even though it's irrevocable, also there's a power of appointment where you can change the dispositive provisions at any time you want to. You might start off by saying the trust on my desk shall go to my kids equally. You might have a situation where one child has a special need. Now you want to delay distribution. You just exercise this power of appointment. Uh, the trust or has a, in Nevada, uh, a veto power over any proposed distributions. Let's say the trustor no longer is serving as a trustee and you have Jeff serving as a trustee and he wants to buy a yacht or something with your money. <laughs> no, he wouldn't do that. But uh, the trustee has to give notice to the trustor of a proposed distribution and that and trustor has a veto power. So I won't go into a lot of detail. There's maximum flexibility with these trusts. So, so what? What is all this? It sounds like it's complicated stuff. Who would want to do this? Does it really mean anything in the grand scheme of things? And so all that this does is the top one, I just pretended it was California. And I said, if you had a, a state of seven million bucks and you could earn a pre-tax return of 6% and that the state income tax rate was 10 um, and, and the estate tax rate was 50% and the unified credit was three million. I know it's five million and change right now, but I don't trust those <laughs> um, And in your family, somebody in your family dies, generation dies every 30 years. Okay, that's it. That's all my variables. And this says, if you do this, seven million bucks, somebody, the generation dies every 30 years, you pay taxes, you give it to the kids and the grandkids and the blah, 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 blah. What, what does that seven million go to in 365 years? Okay, pile gets pretty big, uh, 447, that's B, billion dollars is what that goes to. 